Now, Hurricane Irma caused physical damage to many areas around north central Florida, but the storm also affected public school schedules in Alachua County. WUFT's Amanda Grohowski is here to tell us more about how the schools are recovering. That's right, Alachua County schools are now back in session after being closed all last week. I visited one school in Newberry to see just how the school is dealing with the lost days and how the rest of the school year might be impacted. Hurricane Irma hit North Central Florida one week ago. However, recovery efforts have only just begun. In Alachua County, classes were canceled for six days, finally reopening this morning. I think it's good that the kids are going back because it was long enough where they um, got out of, out of their rhythm and it's a little tough going back. Oakview Middle School in Newberry is just one of the many schools in Alachua County that is back in session. During the hurricane, Oakview opened as a secondary shelter, housing more than 180 people. When you open up as a shelter, you open it up to anybody. And then we have children that come back in, and we don't want children getting sick, and we had a lot of cleaning to do. It takes a long time to get the school back. I mean, we honestly, we weren't ready until Thursday. But now that the school is open, some people are left wondering what's going to be done about the lost school days. While Alachua County Public Schools do have three hurricane days built into their schedule, the state has not yet said if they will have the schools make up the remainder of the lost days or simply waive them. I think if they can um, integrate it in without taking away from some of the standard holidays, that would be the best. The Alachua County School Board says while they wait to find out what will be done in terms of makeup days, they're trying to make the transition back to school as smooth as possible. If there are students or staff that need uh, some, some help in dealing with the after effects of the storm, obviously there are school staff there who are ready to help. Johnson says the school board's goal is to get back to a normal routine as quickly as possible. Florida Agriculture Commissioner Adam Putnam also announced students in 48 counties around the state will have access to free meals. That's because those counties have been designated federal disaster areas by FEMA. These changes are in effect until October 20th. 